Hey everyone, it's Ken here from Northern Viking Every Day. Today I've got a quick Google Drive tutorial for you. I'm gonna be showing you how to create a Google Drive link for file sharing. It's really quite simple to do, so let's go ahead and dive right into it. So let's go ahead and load up Google Drive. I find the easiest way to do this is to log into our Gmail account, head up to the top right hand corner where you'll see the nine dots. This is your Google Apps. If you left click on that, you can scroll through the Google Apps here and you'll see Drive right here. Just go ahead and left click on that and Google Drive will open up in a new tab in your browser. I'll go ahead and hit My Drive here on the left so we can see all of our files and folders. Now from here we need to find a file or folder that we'd like to create a link for. I'm going to use one of these photos here. This is just a photo of a duck key on my keyboard. And what we need to do is find the little three dots in the top right hand corner. It says more actions. If you left click on that, it'll give you a whole bunch of options or we can just right click on the file itself. So if we right click, it gives us the same options. And we'll go down here where it says share. When you hover over share, you can see it says share off to the right. The, con the shortcut for this is control, alt and A, if you were wondering. You can also copy a link here, but if you click on share, it's gonna give us a few more options. So once you've got this open, there's a couple different options here. You can see it says general access and restricted. And restricted means only people with access can open with the link. So you can see people with access and you can add people with access here. You would just put in their email address here and a pop-up would come up and you can give them viewer, commenter or editor status and just hit send here and that would send them a notification and a link to the file. Now, the other way to do this is to go down here and change this to anyone with the link. This would allow anyone with the link to be able to access that photo or file. And again, you can change it from viewer, commenter, or editor. So if you just want them to view it, make sure you leave it on view. And now we're gonna go ahead and copy that link. It's gonna copy it to our clipboard. We can hit done here. And if we jump back over to Gmail here, we can compose an email. I'll just expand this. And you can put in the recipient's email address. We'll just call this one test. And then in the body of the email, if we go down to the bottom here, you'll see a little chain or link icon and says insert link. The shortcut for this is control K. We left click on that. This will allow us to put the link in right here where it says web address. So we can paste that link that we copied from the Google Drive in this area. So either right click and go down to paste or the shortcut is control V. It'll put that in there and then we can hit okay and it'll add that link here in our email that we can email off to our friend or colleague who needs access to it. And if we actually put that link here in our browser, we can just paste that in there as well, just hit enter. It'll take us right to that photo if we wanted to have a look at it as well. So really it's that simple to create a Google Drive link for sharing here in Google Drive and if you wanna send it off in Gmail. Hope this video helped you out. If it did, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, take care.